So I've gotten a lot of questions about this TikTok video that shows these guys driving down the highway. Here, just check it out. Bruh, look how cool we are. We're like driving down the highway, risking the lives of ourselves and everybody around us. Uh, what if we put a bunch of alcohol around? I bet that would make the shot really classy. Okay, so you can see nobody's in the driver's seat, which first of all, not only are these people gigantic idiots, they're not even original because people have done this before. But I have gotten a lot of questions on, is this possible? Uh, and yeah, the answer is, it is possible. I found a way to safely show you that you can get out of the driver's seat on autopilot uh, and what that takes, because you do have to actually break the law to do that. Um, but people, you know, say, oh, Tesla should do this and do that to stop people. Well, let's check it out and see what they could do um, and why I think it really doesn't matter what Tesla does. Uh, idiots are still gonna be idiots. Okay, so we're in a parking lot right now and not that long ago, Autopilot got the ability to be turned on in a parking lot with just the parking spaces. So I'm gonna show you that, and I'm gonna show you what happens if you try to get out of the driver's seat um, and how it does try to prevent you from doing that. So let's go into drive, and I will go as slow as possible for you, um, but I may have to go a little fast. You'll catch up. Okay, so we'll go to these parking spaces. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> so autopilot is on, as you can see here, and it's showing you on the display, which is sweet. Um, so all I had to do was turn autopilot on when it saw the lines, which is awesome. Um, and autopilot now has this ability to go down to zero. So right now autopilot is on, actually. So if I change it to one, it'll start to go. Maybe two, maybe you're, oh, okay. I have to hit the accelerator to uh, resume, so. There, we're going one mile per hour, okay? So we don't need to do that for now. So now let's say I wanna get out of the driver's seat. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna take my seatbelt off. Instantly, screws you up and it says, nope, you can't do that. So now to turn autopilot back on, if I was on the road, I'd have to put the car in park to do it again. So let's go up to this next one and try it one more time. Ooh. Okay, so turned autopilot on again. This time, what did I do? I put my seatbelt behind me. My seatbelt is behind my back and it's plugged into the car. So the car thinks my seatbelt's on. Um, and so at this point, I'm already breaking the law. If I want to use autopilot and get out of the driver's seat, I have to break the law. So Tesla's done, you know, something to stop you. Now, the other complaint is the seat. There's a seat sensor in here. Obviously, it knows if there's a driver for the airbag and stuff, but um, it doesn't interact with autopilot. So if I take my butt out of the seat, we're still on autopilot, right? And we can go if I, this guy wants to come chill next to us for some reason. Um, let's keep going. I'm gonna go to the next spot, okay? So autopilot's going and the car probably doesn't know that I'm in the driver's seat. Uh, I mean, because it's not detecting that. So at this point, let me get out of the driver's seat and see if the car will continue. This is gonna be awkward. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> How am I gonna even do this? Yeah, it shows him showing me. and it's showing your car. So that's another, just so you know, another safety thing we did is we put uh, Ben's van there. And so below 50 or 45 miles an hour, I forget, it's in the manual. Um, the car will stop for stopped objects. When you see those accidents, autopilot plowed into something, it's because it was going too fast. Here we go. Let's, let's move. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is illegal. Okay, so this is good enough. I'm out of the driver's seat. Now look it. Is there a car? No. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna wait for the cars to go away. Hold on. Okay, we're going. So autopilot's going with nobody in the driver's seat. This is not good. You don't wanna do this, okay? But we're in a parking lot, so nobody's around, it's fine. Okay, so going back down to zero. Man, you're freaking good at that. Almost like I do Boom. it for a living. So, <laughs> so we did it. Nobody in the driver's seat. Now, let's do something a little more wild just for a second. You're gonna climb out the window? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <okay>. Nice. <laughs> I hit the steering wheel. Okay. All right, let's do this. I might cut that out because I probably don't look very elegant. <laughs> okay, so now nobody's in the car and autopilot is on. So if we do this, it's in hold mode. So it's not gonna go unless we hit the accelerator. Uh, Let me guess, you brought a stick. I uh, know, I should have. I have the <laughs> tripod though. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. All right. All right, tripod. So it's showing a person on the screen, tripod in hand. We're just going to gently tap the accelerator. 
There it goes. One mile per hour. Nobody in the car. This is autopilot. Now what do we hit this? Doesn't care. You can hit the door handle. But if I want it to stop, I can simply reach inside and it ignores that too. All right. <laughs> but this if we want to planned. No, it's not planned. But it'll stop with your car. If we want to stop it, I could just actually I could turn the steering wheel or no. If I want to stop it, I can't turn the steering wheel. I could just hit the brake. But it's going to stop any second. Oh there. So autopilot freaked out. It got confused by the uh, environment around it. You can see the warning on the screen. And it turned the hazard lights on, so that's it. So can I get in? Now I can open the door. Pretty interesting it ignored me pulling the door while autopilot's on. Um, but anyway, let me put this in park in a parking space. Ooh, extra alarms. Take over immediately. All right. So. It's possible, yes, to get out of the driver's seat, to get out of the car and have autopilot running. Uh, and you know, Tesla put some, some stops there for you. You have to have your seatbelt on if you take it off, it messes you up. Um, if you were to open the door, like with the emergency handle or something, it would turn autopilot off. Um, people are just gonna trick this stuff, like we just did here, if they wanna do it. And it's really stupid to do that, especially on the highway, because the car will not stop at, at this point in time for stop things in the road. So you got a cop car, you got uh, somebody, their car broke down, whatever. The autopilot is just gonna plow into them. So the point is, idiots will be idiots. They will find a way to trick the system. Um, and that's not Tesla's fault. You know, they could put a bunch of other um, things here. People would just defeat it. Just like they do the autopilot nag, they put a weight on the wheel, uh, anything like that. So overall, in my opinion, not Tesla's fault. Uh, I think autopilot's really safe when you use it appropriately, just like a lot of technology. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, please hit like and get subscribed, and you will see me in the next video. So autopilot and I are happily driving along.